Hi everybody, Paul here. In this video I'm going to show you how to add a button or a tab uh, on your Facebook page to redirect people from your Facebook page and onto your own website. And the reason that you would want to do that is that you don't own or control Facebook whereas you do own and control your own website so that's the place to get your leads onto if at all possible so I'm going to begin in the search box up here I'm going to put in WooBox and it immediately comes up with this suggestion WooBox custom tab it says it's an app uh, 1 million plus monthly users so there's a lot of people using this so we click on it and it says add a add a custom page tab to your Facebook page and then we have this big button here install page tab so I'm going to click on that as well next it says add page tab and it says choose Facebook pages so if you administer more than one Facebook page then you'd have a few to select from here but I only have one page that doesn't currently have this tab software installed which is the Webwiser page so I'm clicking on that and you see the check mark or the tick go against Webwiser and then I click on add page tab next I get this uh, button come up it says your page tab has been installed now it's time to configure your new uh, page tab to show the content you want so I click on the button so here I am in the edit tab content window this is where you decide what will happen when people click on your tab or newly created button the key elements to this are over here on the right hand side URL redirect image and HTML if we look at the first one URL what would happen if I put a web address in there or a URL um, when somebody clicks on the button a window would pop up on my Facebook page and they would see that web page that the URL relates to uh, I don't want to do that next one is rather similar image if I upload an image here and somebody clicks on the button then the person who clicks on the button will see a window open uh, from the Facebook page and they'll get to view that image the next one HTML same idea but they'll see um, something that I've coded in HTML you know it could be uh, a page of text with headings and possibly pictures in it as well but it's uh, HTML stuff popping up in the window the one we're interested in is this one redirect so I've click on click on redirect then I get the option to put a URL in here so I'll do that I'll put the full address of my website and then I have two other options underneath non fan page source fan gating is turned off fans and non fans will see your tab content what that is about is uh, there's a there's a bribe system that you can use or people have been using on Facebook and from their own web pages actually where you offer to show somebody some interesting content or it could be a, a funny picture or just anything uh, but in order to view that content they have to click a Facebook like button first so you're bribing them um, Facebook have decided they don't like that and as of November 2014 they're making it illegal uh, in their parlance anyway to do it and so what would happen after that time if you're still light gating they will punish you I guess by not um, bringing your page to people's attention when they start searching for whatever it is that your page is about but point is don't do it last one here form gate form gate is turned off visitors do not complete an input form to access your content sounds like the same kind of thing in this case uh, in order to see the content it looks as if you have the ability to get them to fill in fill in a form I wouldn't do that and they certainly I wouldn't expect people to fill in a form just to go to my website so all I've actually done on this whole content page so far is click on redirect and put my web address in there um, I could click save settings but there's one other thing I should do and that is in here tab settings I need to upload a, an image to appear on my tab so I'm going to click on change and now I get the option to upload an image so it's this is what my buttons going to look like uh, and the image has to be 111 pixels by 74 so I'll select that and I'll say open and it's instantly uploaded tab name there'll be a little name underneath the button so I will what should I call that I'll call it our website okay save settings 
go back to the main page and save settings there <coughs> and that's done uh, I can view it from here where it says view Facebook tab but what I'll do is I'll open a new browser and take a look in there so here I am in uh, an Internet Explorer browser and there is my new button our website visit Webwiser so if I click on that I get redirected to the website and there it is and the front page of this website is not completed yet so that's the idea that's how you do it it's a useful thing to do only takes a few minutes good luck with it and I hope that's been useful just one thing that I forgot to mention if at a later date you decide you want to get rid of the button that we've just created the way to do that is simply come to this more button here click on it and you see you have this option to manage tabs click on manage tabs this opens a box and you can see that there are four tabs in there this is the one that we created we called it or I called it our website you can see this little logo there that uh, is actually the woo box logo click on add or remove tabs and then you see the four tabs that currently exist and uh, all I've got to do to get rid of them is click on this cross here on the right hand side and then it's gone.